Hello and welcome to the AB Helicopters YouTube channel. In our last video, we had a look at the private pilot license and a number of comments were left asking for some more information on the commercial pilot license and also the instrument rating. So if you're interested, stay tuned. First of all, the CPL. Well, it's a commercial pilot license, which is essential if you want to advance from the, the private stage and actually to get paid for flying. Now the CPL, uh, element is broken again into flying and ground training aspects. One of the first hurdles before becoming a commercial pilot is to pass the various ground exams that are required. Now these are a big step up from those that you may have taken during the PPL level. Now there are two different ways of going about the exams. First of all, you can take the 13 CPL or commercial pilot's license exams, and these require about 500 hours of ground study. Or alternatively, you can take the ATPL exams. These are the airline transport pilot license exams, and they require about 750 hours of study, and that's 14 exams. Now, for the ATPL exams, um, you can take the subjects in any order, um, but you're only allowed a total of six sittings to pass all the exams and no more than uh, four attempts at any one exam before the whole lot have to be retaken. You also only have 18 months from the date of the first exam to the date of your last exam that you successfully completed again. Otherwise, you have to start from scratch again. So those subjects, air law, aircraft general knowledge, flight planning and monitoring, human performance and limitations, meteorology, operational procedures, principles of flight, communication, now that's two exams, IFR, instrument flying, uh, and VFR, visual flying, communication. Performance, general navigation, radio navigation, instrumentation, and mass and balance. Now that you've got all the exams out of the way, we can go towards the fun part, the actual flying. Now, there are some hours requirements that uh, need to be met before you can start the CPR. In the previous video, we had a couple of suggestions on how to get those hours before you can start. So if you're interested, click on the link above. You have to have 155 hours before you can start, and 10 of those have to be for cross country. You also need to have at least 50 hours of pilot in command time. Now, the course itself for the CPL, well, that's 30 hours, and you'll be recovering similar topics that you looked at during the PPL. However, this time, you have to demonstrate those skills to a much higher standard. During the course, you have to do about 20 hours of visual flying and 10 hours of instrument appreciation flying. There's also an additional five hours of night training if you have not already got a night rating. Once you've completed the course, you'll have to take an exam with a CAA examiner. Now, the details of that exam are all listed in the CAA publication Standards Document 03 and it lays down the format of the exam and the height and heading and speed uh, limitations or allowances that you're permitted at various stages of the test. Now, hopefully uh, you'll pass the test and then a couple of weeks later, once all the paperwork has come back from the authorities, you'll be the proud owner of a brand new shiny CPR license. So what happens next? What do you do? Well, you've got a couple of options. You can go on to get some additional type ratings on different helicopters, but moving on to perhaps a turbine rating, or you can start to look at the instrument rating or the flight instructor rating. We will cover both of these in our next video. Hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date.